Okay, I decided to do a little simple project for you real quick. Uh, it shouldn't take but a couple of uh, videos to do it. But it's, uh, it's a little axe is what it is. And anybody can draw a little axe. It's, it's real simple to, to draw. Just get one out of a, out of a, a newspaper or whatever. Or, or whatever. Just, just, it's just real simple to draw. In fact, I just drew it myself. And uh, I'm going to show you how you can make a neat little gift for a family member or whatever by just carving this little axe. And, and uh, now, all I did was draw the little axe out. And this is about uh, 9 sixteenths thick, uh, between a half inch and 9 sixteenths thick. And uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Now, this is a very simple project for beginners, so uh, this shouldn't take long. And I'll, I'll show you what you can do with it. First of all, what you want to do is you want to separate the head of the axe from the handle itself. Now, as you know, I'm not, uh, I'm going to start doing this. As you know, I'm not wearing a carving glove, and what you, go ahead and put a line there. Uh, unfortunately, my son just, uh, uh, I do not recommend this, but my son just bought a Labrador Retriever, and I did not know how, how much Labrador Retrievers, um, how much they dig and how much they chew. That's the chewingest thing I've ever seen all my life. Well, I went to get my carving glove, and uh, he had chewed it all to pieces. And I'm not real happy right now, but uh, we're, we'll get through this as much as possible. But I wasn't quite as upset as on that as when he chewed some of the wires on my trailer out there. And so uh, next time I might be chewing, you know, I might be showing you how to carve my little dog if you don't stop all that stuff. But anyway, uh, enough of that. See what I'm doing? I'm beginning to separate the uh, handle of the uh, axe from the head of it right here, from the blade of the axe. So you just simply start start moving that wood, start moving that down. This is a good project for a, uh, uh, a person who is just starting to carve. See, just start uh, removing the wood, taking off the wood right in here. Now, whenever you, about grain, whenever you start doing this, whenever you, you're carving on a, a piece and you feel that knife kind of dig in, you know that you're kind of going against the grain. You just turn it around and, and uh, 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 turn it over. And uh, I'm going to put a little notch in the, uh, as you see, I'm putting a little notch in the, in the handle back here so it's sort of go down. There we go. Just right, just like that. Now, I'm going to come back to the handle back here, and I'm going to round that down like that so we have kind of a... Okay, just continue to round this, uh, this handle down, because once we get the handle where we want it, then, then we can work on the blade all that we want. So you just sort of take your time. I know I'm... Doing this maybe a little bit faster. I've done several of these. And I'm going to show you how we can make a neat little gift out of this for a family member. And I'm going to tell you something about wood carved items. We just, uh, they, people just love them. They do. They, they, like, they like something that's handmade. I mean, you don't find that a lot today in people. And sort of whittle down the, uh, the end over here. You want to get that handle down pretty thin. Okay. So you just barely use the, the top of your knife there, the blade of your knife, then just sort of shave it. Just sort of shave the little uh, pieces away from it. And you see that now we're starting to sort of take a little shape on that handle. Down again back here, I can make that kind of and work from both sides like what I'm doing. Work from both sides so you kind of get an evenness of, of, of the handle itself and, and what's going on. Now, uh, like I said, I start off with 9 sixteenths or half inch, but 
if you want to make one with a little bit, you know, the handle being a little bit uh, thinner, you can. In fact, probably the finished piece I'm going to show you is the handle is going to be a lot thinner. All right, I'm coming in here and I'm going to... Okay, see what we're doing? Okay, I just like this. So I'm just bringing that handle uh, to sort of a little little point here, make it look like it's just down. Move a little wood in here along the end of the handle. It's still too thick. We're going to come down some more on it, but like I said, just take your time. Don't, uh, I know I'm, I'm going a little bit faster than most people, of course. Uh, with me, of course, it's time uh, with the videos. Okay, see? Then kind of dig that out in there. And now that handle's beginning to shape like we want it. See? See, we're shaping that handle down. Now you can do a number of things on it, but like I said, this is a beginner's project. Okay, see that? Take a little bit more off. Skim a little bit more and kind of kind of look as you from each side as you go. Just sort of get an idea of, of uh, the evenness of it. All right, see how quick? Well, we've already gotten the handle down pretty good right here. Now, while we do that, that we get that you get the handle down to a certain point. Kind of sh just get this thinned off back here. Okay. You get that handle thinned down, and then we're going to work on the blade. Now, when you work on this blade, I want you to work from the edge of it because remember, an axe is like a is 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 like a 